Well, good morning, everyone. My name is David Wicks. I'm vice president of the NASDAQ OMX Group. And it is truly my great pleasure to welcome Dream Extreme, presented by Challenge to Triumph, benefiting the Edward Gould Service for Children and Families, along with founder of Dream Extreme and director of development of Edward Gould Service for Children and Families, Linda Argilla. Welcome, Linda. Not yet. Don't clap. We're going to clap in a second. It's a premature clap, we call in the market. I'd also like to extend a warm welcome to all of our distinguished guests gathered here with us. We're excited that you could all join us right here on this beautiful day at the crossroads of the world in Times Square, New York, as we get set to officially ring the NASDAQ opening bell. Now, I know there's a lot to be thankful for, and if nothing else, it's Friday. So what do you think? How about a big round of applause? Let's kick things off this morning. <laughs> Linda and her team are here this morning to kick off the third annual groundbreaking Dream Extreme happening tomorrow, Saturday, September 22nd, with a two-day female kiteboarding clinic, dinner party, and weekend of empowering activities in East Hampton. Kiteboarding happens to be the fastest growing water sport in the world and will actually make its debut in the 2016 Olympics. By day, founder Linda Argilla, honorary chair Bonnie Pfeiffer Evans, and fashion designer Nicole Miller will participate in a KB4 Girls kiteboarding clinic hosted by nine-time world champion and Guinness World Record holder Kristen Buza. Pro, uh, pros from around the world will join her to instruct the female dream extreme benefits, steps to end family violence. Steps to End Family Violence is a program of Edwin Gould Services for Children and Families, and Steps has served survivors of domestic violence in New York City since 1986. Their work is critical, focusing on educating families and communities about violence prevention, promoting healing among victims, and advocating toward an enhanced community understanding domestic violence. STEPS offers a wide range of services from educational and therapeutic groups, individual counseling for children, teens, and adults, as well as advocacy and legal representation. STEPS provides victims of domestic violence with the knowledge and capacity to live strong and independent lives. Collaborative part, part huh. I can't talk this morning. Collaborative partnerships with schools, the criminal justice system, and collateral agencies reinforce the STEPS core values of healthy relating empowerment and growth. Today, all of us at NASDAQ OMX are honored to serve as a platform to raise awareness in all that you do. And now please join me in welcoming founder of Dream Extreme and director of development of Edwin Gould Service for Children and Fam Families, Linda Argilla. Linda, come on up. Good morning, everyone, and thank you to um, NASDAQ and, and David for this wonderful and exciting opportunity to highlight Steps to End Family Violence and Edwin Gould Services for Children and Families for the wonderful work they do and their commitment to helping so many children and families affected by domestic violence. What a perfect way to kick off this weekend's event this one-of-a-kind, groundbreaking fundraising event, Dream Extreme. NASDAQ and Dream Extreme, in my opinion, are a perfect fit as we both share the extreme dream to change the world we live in. Women from around the world will come together this weekend to take on the challenge and learn the sport of kiteboarding from the nine-time female world champion, Christine Bowes, who, as you know, is here with us today. And this opportunity that NASDAQ has offered us will serve as a platform to generate the awareness we need and make it possible to meet our fundraising goal of $250,000 to support Edwin Gould Services for Children and Families and Steps to End Family Violence. And I just want to thank everyone for celebrating this morning's ceremony with us. It's very exciting. And thank you. <laughs> Create a, 
founding Steps to End Family Violence some 25 years ago.